again everyone my name is David it's 3d prints and stuff today I'm gonna hopefully bring you something that's gonna fly like the wind and all you need is a couple business cards and of course your printer anyway without further ado time lapses Okay, this is how it comes printed off the printer. You pull it apart, and then you're going to see some nubs and stuff here. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take little snippers and just snip it off. A little furry but this is how I take care of that right here look at that no more furry Now, all you need to do is attach the rubber band, and that's what I'm going to do right now. Back with the rubber band. Now, it don't really tell you how to make this thing work, but I'm going to put it together and see if I can make it work. So anyway, after you put the rubber band on, let's do the actual plane part. When this prints, there's actually little gaps here for the card to slip through, and here, and also here for the card to slip through, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and put the cards in now and see what happens. It's any regular, regular size. I blacked out what I needed to black out, whatever. White side up, black side up. Maybe black side up. Maybe easier to see. Alright. The one good thing about clear natural filament anyway, is you can see the lines inside where things stop etc but really printing with natural I really I really don't like it because you don't you can't really tell detail until it's done and then even then it's hard to tell you don't need no glue everything is dry fit you could see here he added little nubs inside the print that hold the card down now, for the tail section, he tells you to fold it, but he also says to score it first, maybe with a knife or something or a razor, to help you do that. But I'm just going to try and do it the old-fashioned way. Alright. I think that's the best I'm going to do, anyway. Let's... Does it slip through or does it go through? Okay, it does like so. Now, there it is. There was no real instructions on how to fly it, but there's a little hook here, so I'm guessing. 
you put the rubber band on one side and you pull holding on to this for dear life anyway <laughs> which is going to sling back and hit you so let's see what happens test flight coming up Here's how the plane looks, all done, all beat up. You really have to understand how aerodynamics work, which I obviously don't. You saw in the one video, nice, clean, one glide, but it took many. Anyway, I noticed that it's better if you aim it on a downward angle that way, it'll go and glide. I just kept on trying to pull it back and go this way, which really didn't work. Anyway, this was a front print printed on my Robo 3D R1 turned into a plus from upgrading it as you can see like I said natural I hate natural but you can see where the cards go and everything like that printed really nice took two hours and 42 minutes I did 60% infill two perimeters I think and two top and two bottom layers so it's got some good weight to it and like I said it prints in one piece so it makes it real easy to print anyway don't forget to like subscribe and let me know if you like more of these prints where you have to do things to make them work